There isn't a part of the world where women are not experiencing violence in some way, shape, or form, whether it's mothers whose dead children in Chicago where they're getting shot up in record numbers, or women getting raped in Congo, or sexual harassment in the workplace. I mean, it is, it is unfortunately one of those awful issues that brings us together as women. And this is happening to women everywhere. It's not just uh, in the movies. It's not just something you read about. Women are half the population. Women are half the workforce. But they're still not treated with enough respect. Because it happens every day, everywhere. And it's not only specific to, to specific cultures or societies or regions. Um, and there are different forms of it. And we need to deconstruct the forms of violence against women. I do feel deeply about I have two daughters and a granddaughter and I don't want to see them to be victims of violence. And I don't think anyone should be a victim of violence. And it's something to me, it's an act against humanity. And it's a moral issue, an ethical issue, and that we as, as a culture, as a people, need to stand up and say enough's enough. It doesn't help anyone. It really just causes a lot of problems on a lot of different levels. Um, and I just think there are other ways to work out issues. The town I live in, which is a town of ex college town, very progressive, extremely well-educated, middle and upper middle class population. Um, someone was just killed in a domestic violence situation and, and they incidentally were published in the paper that 56% of all crime reported in Palo Alto is domestic violence. We all should be concerned about violence against women because um, when women don't feel safe, when women don't feel that their physical bodies are safe, it does have a huge ramification on their mental state and their ability to go out and be productive members of society. It perpetuates patriarchy. It's um, not seen as the human rights abuse that it is. Um, it's kind of just a part of our society. And um, I think that as women are humans, they deserve human rights and they deserve a freedom from violence, as does everyone. I believe that um, a, word, a world that is decent is a world that is free of, of violence in general and, and violence against women. Because I don't want to be hurt. I don't want women in my life to be hurt in any way. Um, I don't want anyone to feel that that's okay in any situation. Because for the past three years, I've been reading proposals from the Sub-Saharan Africa portfolio, and no matter whether or not the group is addressing economic rights, um, advancing you know, education, any of the issues that we focus on, the underlying theme has been about violence against women. I care about violence against women because it doesn't just affect women. It affects um, children, it affects everything that surrounds women. Um, within my culture as an African woman growing up, I know that in our culture, women, you know, children spend their formative years with women. And so imagine a woman who's experiencing different forms of violence, whether it's domestic violence, sexual violence, at different level, the impact of that on that woman eventually passes on to their children and the people who women are responsible for. And within the continent, women are responsible for almost everything.